And if I told you once, I ain't gonna tell you twice. Salute on my real ones. I have the breath control to keep going. Yeah. So listen, champ. We got the evolution of Mike Myers, 1978 to 2022. Um, Halloween ends, bro. Halloween ends. That's so trash, bro. Garbage. Pure dumpster sauce and i'm extra angry because i actually like halloween kills was it part, part one and two like the two before it i actually like those i'm like damn like when he's fighting the firefighters and that everybody stomps him out but he comes back and gets his revenge like that was actually like two good halloween moves back to back so i thought this one was gonna be good i was wrong we gonna get straight into this video like button subscribe button notification bell press those let's go Michael Myers just keeps on coming back. Often worse for wear. But just how has the slasher changed over time? Let's find out now, reanimated. Michael first appears as a murderous six-year-old in a clown costume who gets tossed into a mental institution. Fifteen years later, he breaks out, donning his iconic greenish coveralls and a Captain Kirk mask painted white, giving him big eye holes, and dyed brown hair that is partially shaved. He's also seen in a spooky ghost disguise. He goes on a Halloween rampage, but before he can finish off his last victim, Laurie Strode, he's shot down. Taking place the same night, in Halloween 2, Michael is stockier, his coveralls are damaged, and his mask is aged with reddish hair. He sets out to finish off Laurie Strode, who happens to be his sister, but he gets shot in the eyes and exploded, clearly burning to a crisp. Halloween 3 follows Dr. Chalice and his way to a young partner as they investigate an evil mask manufacturer crazy, and his I fleet of androids who plan two. to use witchcraft to melt kids' like heads on Halloween. I oh, and uh, one, Michael like, makes a brief like, cameo like, on a TV screen. Well, in Halloween, Halloween Kills, Halloween, the, the 2018 one, and the, the, the Rob Zombie one from 2007 with Joe Grizzly. If y'all seen 2007, y'all know what I'm talking about with Joe Grizzly, man. Or a still alive like man, Michael, Michael awakens from a 10 year coma. He He's was larger at and wears striped coveralls and a less defined mask. Has an extended neck, problem. shocked eyebrows, and slicked hair with added sideburns. It also sometimes has tinier eye holes and occasionally turns pink and blonde. After he learns of his sister's death, he sets his sights on her daughter. But is shot and falls down a mine shaft with his evil spirit inhabiting his niece. But let's ignore that because in Halloween 5, Michael is nursed back to help by a hermit. His jumpsuit is dirtier and his mask is now oddly flared with an angrier expression, larger nose, and silky hair. He also goes incognito in a more brutish mask. He continues to hunt his niece, sharing a quick tear with her before being tossed in jail, although a mysterious man in black busts him out. Six years later, in Curse, Michael wears sleek gray cover Rolls in a more ghoulish mask with large ears, dark lips, and messy hair. He also sometimes looks slimmer. It's revealed that Michael is controlled by a druid curse to exterminate his family, so he goes after his niece's baby, but Man, gets really tranquilized and knocked out. Although, in the producer's cut, he's all, instead all immobilized by a circle of all stones, the, the and then stealthily sneaks events. away. Ignoring the previous four Shucky films, in first. H2O, Michael goes on a road trip to find Laurie oh, Strode. Man. He gains height, lacks any burns, wears charm colored coveralls and multiple masks, including a Halloween 6 mask, a bloated mask, and an awful CGI monstrosity, eventually settling on a mask with revealing eye holes and poofy hair. He goes head to head with his sister, but leaves, well, ahead. Although in Resurrection, it's revealed that Michael switched outfits with a paramedic. His new mask has more definition, noticeable makeup, and less frizzy hair. He finally manages to eliminate his sister, and then gets entangled in a web show. Although he's taken out with kung fu and exposed wiring. Or is he? But that doesn't matter because this chicken fried killer is abandoned for a remake series where Michael appears as a murderous 10 year old in clown attire. He also dons the signature Michael is. mask, which has smaller features and thicker hair. Once right. locked up, he starts wearing paper mache masks and grows into a muscle bound freak. Right. After breaking out, he finds a greasy brown jumpsuit and his now grungy mask. Yeah, I'm saying, and then that's where he went one on one with Joe Grizzly. And Joe Grizzly would have washed you, bro. You lucky that he was weakened because he had to pass a bean burrito deluxe. And you caught him at the right time. Mike knew what he was doing. 
Dad's Even watch recreates that version, the original's oh, ghost look. He goes after his young sister, but is shot multiple times, ending his mayhem. But he's right as rain in the sequel. His mask deteriorates even more, and he incorporates hobo-inspired attire in his ensemble, pretty well ditching his mask. His younger self is also seen, but looks completely different. This time, Michael is led by his ghost mom to again attack his sister. But this bum is shot down by the police. Ignoring all other follow-ups, in Halloween 2018, Michael is again taller, his coveralls are darker, and his mask is boxier with taut hair, no exposed flesh tones, and added aging. He's apparently been locked up for 40 years, but when getting transferred, he breaks free and goes on one of his usual sprees, until he's hit by a car, briefly getting- Yo, I also want to see Mike Myers in the hood. Come through with that blade, bro, or like Mike Myers and like- pulling up on bikers or Mike Myers on a military base. All that shit that he gets away with in the movies ain't happening. He's gonna get pumped full of clips. He knocked out, which allows his insane doctor Spirit to wear the game. trademark mask. But Michael awakens and nips that twist in the butt. He then faces say, his now not sister and her family, getting trapped in her burning house. Although in Halloween Kills, he's saved by some helpful firemen. Michael has heavy metal damage, bandaging around his hand, and a two-faced style burn. He's also seen in a flashback with a DH 2018 mask and navy blue coveralls. This time, Michael takes on a mob of angry idiots, with each kill supposedly leveling up his evil powers. He then executes Lori's daughter. In Halloween Ends, a sewer-dwelling Michael is covered in moss. His hand is no longer bandaged, and he's become extremely weak. He apparently manifests his evil into a local outcast who takes on the Michael persona, but fails miserably. When the real Michael comes to retrieve his mask, he's taken down by the remaining Strodes, with the entire town then mulching his remains in a shredder, finishing the shape once and for all. Well, until the next reboot, at least. We hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, man, Halloween ends, bro. That was, that was so disappointing. Like, not only was Mike Myers not even really in his own movie, then you got this fake version of him. He gets killed, then Mike comes through, and Mike gets killed. Garbage, bro. Let me know what y'all thought about the video in the comment section. My name is Rain. We catch you on the flip side. RCP salute. That's garbage. Wait for it.